Hey everyone, this amazing ESO Network show is brought to you by our fine sponsor, Amazon.com. Please remember to shop Amazon for all your geeky needs, no matter what time of the year it is. All you need to do is go to ESOPodcast.com slash ESO Amazon. Or click on the Amazon banner on the ESO Network webpage to go to our e-store. It's the best way to shop and the best way to support this program, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, that's enough of me babbling for now. Now on with your regular scheduled show. Are you ready to rock? This is where the world of pop culture and talk collide. Hey, how you doing, kid? This is the Adam and JP Show. Hey, welcome to the Adam and JP Show. How about an official opening this time? Yeah, a real one. I'm Jay Patrick, that's Adam. Where we both expect it. Yeah. Here it is. All right. You don't like the sneak openings? Not so much. Mm, say something incriminating, Adam. <laughs> exactly. I never know what I can say. <laughs> we'll open the show with it. Yeah. Farting, burping, guzzling drinks. So did you hear about the uh, lady? I believe this was in Japan. A uh, lady was having surgery. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe it was on the lower portion of her torso. Mm-hmm. She farts. It was laser surgery. She farts. It causes a fire. Whoa. She She's okay. But she did suffer burns from a fire that was started because she farted during surgery. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's terrible. Now, because that's never happened before. Like, it was totally <laughs> unexpected. So can you fart when you're under? Yeah, well, yeah, you can. It's like when you're asleep. You, I don't... you know you fart in your sleep. <laughs> no way. What, you think you just get it all out while you're here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I save it up all week. Have you ever been woken up by your own stuff while you're sleeping? No. Don't lie about it. I haven't. Really? Uh, I have been uh, awoken by the dogs. Really? Yeah, because we have a mastiff. That's what you tell yourself, huh? So huh. it's like, nah, nah, what? The- <laughs> oh my! Uh, yeah. But yeah, so she farts during surgery. Uh-huh. Laser surgery. Wow. Big flame, fire. Wow. And now multiple universities are studying how that happened. Wow. They're getting students to volunteer. Imagine keeping a steady hand as a doctor and someone just blows it out. How do you not laugh at that? Whack! <laughs> like I would lose it and just shake and scalp all over their stomach. This is why I will never have surgery. Because you know they do. <laughs> yeah. You know doctors and nurses, once they see you naked, they're making jokes. Just like the uh, the TSA guys when you go through the body scanners. Yeah. Well, they yeah. Can't, can they see things? In the body scanners? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Like not just your bones? No, it's not like uh, Total Recall. Yeah? No. What do they see? It's a computer outline of your body. Really? Uh-huh. Your naked body. Well, it's like a computer imagination of imagining of it. Of your naked yeah. body. Yeah. It's an imagining, though. Uh, no, I don't think so. Pretty so- thorough scanners. <laughs> so this mm-hmm. is why I will never have surgery. Yeah. You know, uh, we just have to do this one simple surgery. Yeah. You'll live another 30 years. <laughs> nope. Guys up top laughing, watching with Junior Mints in his hand. <laughs> Yo, that would be yeah. the worst. Yeah, right? If it was like a school. <laughs> there were students. I don't like those at doctors when they have the, the, the schooling people in there with you. You've done that? I, I've had doctors bring in, uh, you know, understudies or whatever you want to call them. When you were, when were you in the hospital? Well, not in the hospital, but like just normal checkups, patient doctor stuff. They, they bring in the, well, the young ones in. What free clinic are you going to? <laughs> no, I'm Everybody, I mean, you have to get your, your stuff in somewhere. Yeah, that's happened to you. Yeah, really, yeah. Did like, they? Did they give? Did you give you the permission first? No, no, never, never once. They didn't say, "Hey, we have some students that would like to come in." Well, it's never like a class; it's always one person. We have a, a student that would like to come. They in. They never say no. Where are you getting checked out? Just I mean, in general, it's a different stuff. Uh huh. Why? Why do you look so defensive? <laughs> oh, you've never had that at all. No, really. Hmm. Hmm. I don't go to the doctor a lot. Though. I guess not. Yeah. 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 I've got the pre sniffles right now. It's the I, weather changing. I know. Well, you love the winter. I do. This is your fault. It is my You brought this on yourself. I do love it. Hey, um, have you ever been diagnosed with anything? Not that I think. I don't think so. Like you've never had like an ailment that like had an official diagnosis? Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe? Why? Well, I mean, outside of like a, you know, like, like a, a cold? No, 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 no. Like I know you had like dental stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not like a... But you never like you had, had weird symptoms and then they run some tests and the doctor's like... You have blah, blah, blah syndrome. No. <laughs> it's never you, happened to you? It's happened you? to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Like when I was a little kid. Wow. Um, I think I've talked about this before. There was a period of time where my depth perception mm-hmm. was totally off. Like, um, like say, for instance, like, like, this, like, a, like an action figure, like a full-size like G.I. Joe would seem like a Lego man. Really? 
like my my size and depth perception was off. Hmm. Um, I would look down, you know, just the hallway in the house, and the hallway would seem like I was looking down a football field. Weird. And so, and I would I had double vision. I would also have double vision. And uh, this was probably when I was like six, five or six. And they diagnosed me. I don't remember the technical name for it, but you can look this up. But I was diagnosed with Alice in Wonderland syndrome. What? Mm-hmm. That's a real thing. It's a real thing. Wow. Yeah. And and apparently it's like a uh, it's like a brain disease. Really? Yeah. Wow. But it was only a short time. I mean, I went on some medications for a while and wow. it was gone. That sounds awesome. It's not that awesome. Really? Yeah. Because when wow. your depth perception is off, it yeah. messes your equilibrium Ooh, off. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach way down here for oh, oh busted my knuckles. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was walking into walls and stuff. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because yeah, the wall seems like it's that far away, and then yeah. you walk, and oh, all of a sudden I hit the wall. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Huh? I was walking into things. I was seeing double, and you know, I, I I couldn't like my perception of the size things actually were yeah. was off. Huh. And after that happened for a while, my parents took me to the doctor, and they diagnosed me with the. Alice in Wonderland syndrome. Wow. It's only happened that one time. It's never... Came back or anything? Came back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, I was diagnosed with... Uh, I forget what the name of it is, but this is current. Like, I currently have this. Uh, in addition to attention deficit disorder. Uh-huh. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> uh, have, have you listened to this podcast? <laughs> um, I also... My perception of time is different than most people. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So if you say... Like, to me, like, six years ago seems only like a couple of months ago. Really? So if you say, oh, it just seems like it was yesterday. Uh-huh. Like, for me, it literally just seems like it was yesterday. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like, things in my life seem a lot closer together. Yeah. And to, like, I know the difference, obviously, uh-huh. every year and days and weeks and months. Yeah. But when I look when back. Hear it, yeah. Yeah. But when I, like, when I look back in my memory of, like, 1998, it's as vivid as if it were... A month ago. Yeah. So can I blow your mind a bit? Because I saw a, f- a fact today, Uh huh. like at the anniversary, either it was today or very recent, but 18 years ago, Blade came out. I know. That blew my mind. 18 years ago. That's nuts. Yeah. 18 years ago. 1998. 18 years ago. Our first real comic book movie. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just Eight, 12, you know, real. But 18 years ago, man. That's um, insane. I think I think Blade changed uh, the way comic book movies were viewed. That's pretty crazy. I do think so. I mean, we're close to 20 years since the first X-Men movie came out, honestly. Uh, how about this? <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? 25 years ago, mm-hmm. <clears throat> this week, is when The Addams Family came out. Wow. Are you serious? The first Addams Family. Wow. Turned 25 this week. Quarter of a century. Yeah. I clearly remember that. I mean... I came home on Valentine's Day, and my mom got me a Valentine's Day gift, and it was a my first Walkman cassette player, and had the single of the uh, the, the the theme song in there. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now, um, the Adams Family yeah. MC Hammer song that was part two, though, right? That was part two, yeah, right? Yeah. That was right around the time of oh man, I love that song. They do what they want to do, say what they want to say, live how they want to live, play how they want to play. Yeah, it was great. How they want to dance, consent, only. Yeah. And then uh, that was around the time of Too Legit to Quit. Too yeah, it was around, yeah. I think it was post, soon post Too Legit to Quit. I remember the video to Too Legit to Quit uh-huh. had the coach for the Atlanta Falcons in it. Really? Yeah, because well, it was a bunch of celebrities. Yeah. Everybody doing the Too Legit to Quit. Right, thing. right. Yeah. Kind of like the Dave Coulier cut it out. It's close to it. It's very close to yeah. it. <laughs> you have to do it a lot faster though. Right. Yeah. And, and if you have to think about it, it's like Too Too Legit. No, oh, no, no too, too L. Legit. There you go. Too, too Legit L, to too Quit. L. You have to throw the, you missed the second two though. Oh. Two, 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 two. two. We should put this on YouTube. <laughs> JP trying to learn sign yeah, language. Yeah. Two, two legit. Two legit. Two, two quit. Yeah, quit. You missed that that second. Now is two. the quit like the like the hand or yeah. is it like the? Get I, out of here? I think uh, it's the hand because yeah. the I was doing the Dave Coulier cut it out. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You're right. It's not to cut it out. <laughs> it's the too legit to quit. Man. Hey, hey, <laughs> too legit. Hey. <laughs> Say what you want to say. Live how you want to live. Dance how you want to dance. <laughs> uh, MC Hammer had some catchy songs. He did. Yeah. You remember Pray? No. We got to pray. Oh, yeah. Pray. Oh, yeah, we pray. <laughs> we got to pray. Just weird. I remember going into Castor Knot in the mall uh, for back-to-school shopping, and they were trying to be uh, 
it was all, you know, it was the early 90s, so, oh, we're on the ver- verge of everything being so, you know, this tech tech revolution. Mm-hmm. So it was either Castronaut or Dillard's. They decided it would be fun if they took up their sales floor space and put big TV monitors. Oh, wow. But it was the multiple monitors that would make the one. Oh, the big one? Yeah. <clears throat> one, yeah. So it was multiple monitors, but one image. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember, I vividly remember going in to school shop and uh, seeing the video to, uh, no, we got to pray. Pray. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we pray. That's funny. Mm-hmm. This may be, well, this may be like a, a regional thing, but I think it's nationwide. Dillard's still exists in most malls if they exist around the country. Yeah. But a Castronaut, a Parisians, a Hex. What happened to those? Those were like one by one by one by one tumbled. Parisians in the uh, Green Hills Mall. Remember that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had a, our local mall, we had a Castronaut, and that left, I believe, Parisians came in. And I believe the Hex, H-E-C-H-T, apostrophe S, came in. But we didn't have a Macy's for, for right. a long time. When that came, it was like a big New York thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're getting all suitified. Yeah. We, that is when the growth of Nashville started. When we had our Macy's. Once Macy's showed up yeah. in the area malls. But Dillard's has always been, it's been around. Yeah. I you think- have like the, the, the lower rung stuff, those uh-huh. went away, like like I said, the astronauts and things. Yeah. But the Dillard's is kind of like the Applebee's. It just it kind of stays there. Yeah. No one really loves, like, no one's favorite store is Dillard's. No, no. one's favorite restaurant is Applebee's, but it's constant. I, I'll be honest with you. I prefer a Kohl's to Dillard's. Yeah. Most yeah. people should. Mm-hmm. I think you should. But yeah. really, who's like, man, I can't wait to go to Dillard's tomorrow. <laughs> but that's where we always went for back to school shopping. I guess, yeah. But it's kind of yeah. like you're in the mall, like, oh, Dillard's is here. I'll check it out. It's yeah. never like, a, I'm going to go there for Dillard's. Yeah. <laughs> but think about all those mall stores from the 90s that aren't yeah. around anymore. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, like, in general, the, although like, not the superstores, but the actual- But yeah, like those yeah. mall stores that were really popular for yeah. a short period of time. Gadzooks. You remember Gadzooks? Gadzooks is yeah. a good, uh, good uh, example yeah. of that. What else is gone? Is Wet Seal still around? Is American Eagle still around? I think I don't think it's it's trendy, but it's still around. That and Aeropostale and Hollister. Yeah. And Abercrombie and Fitch. Is that still around? I think so. Yeah. They're is just it, not hip like they used to be. No. Is the Gap still around? Is Doc Martin or Doc Doc Martin still at Dark? <laughs> dark, dark Martin. Martins? <laughs> Man, can I get some Dark Martins? You're not from here, are you? <laughs> no, but I want to be the talk of my school. I need some Dark Martins. <laughs> Um, I used to love Gadzooks. That was my jam. Gadzooks was cool. Yeah. Uh, Babbage's, the computer Babbage's, store. Babbage's, yeah. Went to software, et cetera. Went to, at least for us here, I'm not sure the actual process, but ours was a Babbage's, to a software, et cetera, to a Funko Land, to a, an uh, electronics boutique, mm-hmm. to an EB Games, to a GameStop. So if EB Games, that's what it still stands for, right? Yes. Or is EB Games still around? I, so I think in Canada. Did GameStop buy EB Games? I think GameStop and EB Games are the same thing. I think yeah. in Canada. <coughs> sorry, I'm getting pretty sick. Yeah, I know you're okay. <laughs> In Canada, uh, EB Games and GameStop still exist. They coexist. Okay. I think it's only in Canada. I could be totally wrong, but I watch a lot of uh, Canadian gamers on YouTube, and they talk about EB Games a lot. I like to go to EB Games. Yeah. Hey. Do you remember Funko Land? I remember Funko yeah, Land. There's so many. That's weird. Huh. I'll try um, to Scott Patterson, yeah. mm-hmm. who was a guest at the Grand Old Game Room Expo right. during his panel, he was talking about how he uh, became friends with a former executive from Funko Land. Oh, wow. And he was telling him that when they went through that period of trying to stay in business, they were taking in a bunch of trade-ins. And you got to think, at that point, the trade-ins would have been 8-bit games, Uh even maybe a little further back than the NES games, maybe maybe the later Atari games. possible, yeah. They were taking in trade-ins, they had they had they were so overstocked with trade in games that they could not sell that Funko destroyed just thousands and thousands and thousands wow. of classic NES and Atari games. I mean that bothered him, right? Because that's oh, yeah. preservation is his thing. Is his thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he that's what he does now. Mm-hmm. He tries to preserve and, and it still happens today. And you, you know, and this is something that came up during that panel. I mean, if you think about it, I mean think about it. Don't you don't even have to go as far back as the, the PS One. Mm. Think about all those PS One games. Oh yeah, because they were disc. Everybody took them out of their cases and put them in, you know, binders mm. and and the, you know the the flip things that you could put CDs in. Everybody put them in those and threw the cases away. Oh yeah. So the cases are gone. You know, most of those games are gone. Yeah. I bet we will see a shortage of original PlayStation games. Probably so. In the next few years. That was the first real round of disc-based mm-hmm. games, yeah, yeah, as far as console goes. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying you should do this, but it's, it's a fact that every GameStop, once a uh, certain amount of inventory hits and they can't sell some of these games, if you check their dumpster every night, 
they toss out games. Do you do this? No, no, but I have uh, people that do. I got some friends. I do have some friends. I got some friends at Dumpster Dive. Every single GameStop, they uh, throw good stuff out. Mm -hmm. Controllers, even. And sometimes they're forced now to destroy the game or controller before they do that, so it can't be used afterwards. A perfectly good controller for PS3 or Xbox 360 will be snipped with scissors in the cord. Mm -hmm. Just so people can't use it. Oh, we did that when I worked at Toys R Us. That's crazy, right? We would uh, throw stuff away. Yeah. Even if we were shipping it back, Mm -hmm. we had to alter it somehow. That's weird. Before it got shipped back. Uh So... At no point anyone could steal it. Yeah. Which is just, I mean, that's, uh, we don't want this anymore. Well, yeah. we don't want you to have it. Right. But yeah. we don't want it. It's so stupid. It is, yeah. We're going to throw it away. We're going to yeah. destroy it. Uh-huh. But why don't you just give it to people who can't afford? <laughs> no. I hear the people kind of a segue to Dragon Con. It's almost time for that again. <laughs> is it? <laughs> but I heard the people at the, the Marriott carpet. Wait. Or the Marriott, what's that? ESO will be doing their first Dragon Con report in, in like about a three, month. Yeah, three weeks. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> but yeah, the Marriott car- carpet. Yeah, I'm sure those people got mad when they saw they threw out rolls and rolls and rolls, hundreds of, of, if not thousands of square footage of this Marriott carpet that we're known for. And people have that now for costumes, cosplays, and, and props. And I think they got mad about that when they saw people digging through the trash and using those. And, and people sell that now. People are selling that those bits of carpet. That's a very niche market. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it used to be, but now it's a little more dominant. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, it is in the big picture, I guess. But I mean, I saw a lot of it this year, at Dragon Con. I'm gonna make my millions. Maybe not so much of the actual carpet itself, but the design. I mean, people had clothes and 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 necklaces and and earrings and things of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very popular with the Dragon Con crowd. Yeah, just Google Marriott carpet. Mm-hmm. You'll see what we're talking about. No, no, you'll see. Um, how was your week? It was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we're recording early this week. We are because it is uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, we can't record on Thursday like we usually do. Right. So, Ooh, so when does this one go out? This will be on Friday. This will be Black Friday. This is our Black Friday show. I know because at Gamers Corner, it's Black Friday heavy. Oh, good. I know so it'll be kind of late in the day when you listen to this, but there's possibly still some deals out there. Are you going to listen to it first thing in the morning? That's true. Right when you get there. Just wake uh, up, I turn stay it on. up till midnight to make yeah. sure this thing gets posted. I did see trolls this week. Oh, really? Yeah, so I had no. Where do you want to start then? You want to start with trolls or. You know me. I have no. I did not want to see this at all. Uh, well, I had no intentions. I don't like. Why did you go see it then? I don't, hear me out. I don't like most animated films. You know that. I'm not a big animated guy, be it a Pixar, or DreamWorks, or even classic Disney oh, animation. This is a fun game. Yeah, we're gonna play a game here. Uh-huh. You've heard Adam up to now, right? Now in your head, yeah. you get to you make the call. Is Adam gonna say he loves this movie, <laughs> or is Adam gonna say I was right? I hate this movie. <laughs> That's true. Which one do you think it is? AT and T presents. You make the call. Here's my guess. Yeah. For the benefit of your fiance, uh-huh. you're going to say you love this movie. Not for her benefit. Okay, really. But continue your story. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm just not a big fan of animation, as you know. Not because I don't. I'm not. It's not that I'm not a fan. I just don't really give it much of a chance. Usually, when I do give it a chance, I wind up leaving and I love or I at least enjoy what I've seen. Yeah. And this was no exception. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed Trolls quite a bit. Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah. Justin like, Timberlake. Much, much, much more than I thought I would. Uh, Mara Sorvino. Anna Kendrick. Uh, Anna Kendrick? Yeah, and, but I mean, the cast is huge. I mean, it's got uh, 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 tons Buddy of Hackett? Close. Buddy tons Hackett's of people. James it? Corden's in there. Uh, Russell Brand's in there. Uh, uh, Zoe Deschanel's in there. Got some Gwen Stefani in there. That's a, that's a, that's a big cast. Goes on for a long A big, huge cast. Huge. Yeah. Cedric the Entertainer? Huge as Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders? Um, but I go there and it's, it's fantastic. I really recommend it. Okay, good. I've heard good things about yeah. it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Yeah. It may. Can't believe I'm admitting this. It may have gotten a little dusty in the theater if you follow my drift. It's a little bit dusty. A little bit of uh, allergies in there. Oh, really? Yeah, it got me good. Really? Didn't expect it. Hmm. Last time I cried in theaters was Creed last year. <laughs> I was I was going strong in 2016, and I see the damn trolls. Wow. Yeah, got me good. It's a cry-free, cry-free year <laughs> up until then. <laughs> but yeah, check out Trolls. I, you, I recommend it. You pulled the old uh, Alex Jones. <laughs> 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 Did you want to build on that from what we did last week? That's not where I was going. But okay. I was actually going to build on the Creed thing. But okay, you go for Creed. We can, uh, oh. oh, well, let's do this. And okay. then, and because I think that's going to take a second. Okay, yeah. Uh, we'll address uh, some Facebook postings that we received this right. week. Yeah. Um, we were talking about anniversaries of movies. Right. A big one this, this week. Yeah, you told me this, and I had no idea, honestly. Uh, this past week, November 21st, marked the 40th anniversary of the original Rocky movie. It's beautiful. 40 years. That's amazing. Since we first saw Rocky run down the yeah. alleys in Chinatown. 
Gina, yes. Gina Town. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Up the steps. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you remember when he, the dog? Yeah, yeah, Butkus. Butkus? Uh-huh. That was actually his dog. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The I didn't s- realize that. Yeah. He had to sell his dog to live yes. for a while. And then yeah. once he got the money from Rocky, went and bought him back. And Butkus was a... Mastiff. Mastiff. Yeah. Right. Those are expensive dogs. Yeah. Yeah. But he sold him so he could live and, and keep rent and keep working on the Rocky script. He gets the money from that and goes buy Butkus back. It's he amazing. had to pay double what he sold uh, him for yeah. to the guy because the guy didn't want to sell him back. Jerk. But he got his dog back. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good story. And made one of the greatest American movies ever. Yeah. Just my opinion. Have you heard his story? If I, I mean, I don't want to give you the whole rundown, but do some research in, of him writing that script. It's mm-hmm. insane. Like I He think... was dead, dead, dead broke in his apartment just writing with pen and paper. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Didn't he? Uh, he was writing it on the set of Italian Stallion, right? <laughs> Possibly so. It was Party Kidding Studs back then. Oh, so went back and renamed it to. Oh, uh, that's right. To make they up did. for the yeah. Rename it Italian was, Stallion. Was, have you ever seen that before? No, hmm. I have. Have you? It's not as bad as you would think. <laughs> it's not a hardcore. It's a softy. It's a softy. Was that? Uh, we're talking about an adult film. Yeah, yeah. That uh, Sylvester Stallone was in. Pre Rocky. Yeah. Pre Rocky. Mm. Was uh, was that his first film work? That or uh, that and Death Race two or what is it two thousand three thousand? Oh, they were right next Death to each Race other. Death Race three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah, they were really close to each other. Mm-hmm. I believe his name was Frankenstein. That's what he always screamed. Frankenstein. I thought it was uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> That's possible too, but they were around the same time. All in the it's all a seventies blur. It but is a blur. I, but back to the trolls. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you, you think she? This is the Facebook thing. You think she drug me to it? Oh, I think she did. No, no, no. It's it's only fair because she asked about it in the past six months alone. In the past year, now he's, I mean, midnight, if not earlier, releases of, of Deadpool, uh-huh. Batman v Superman, right. Captain America Civil War, right. uh, Suicide Squad, uh-huh. did I say Batman v Superman? Yeah. yeah. These movies, over and mm-hmm. over, the least I can do yeah. is go to one Tuesday matinee of some trolls. <laughs> okay. that's that's I, I owe it to her. Hey, you- Men across the world, you owe it to your ladies. If, if you're dragging her along to these movies they may or may not like, go see a CGI animated movie. You rationalize it however you want. <laughs> and- uh-huh. I like this 10 times more than Batman v Superman. Oh, I can I I, certainly I really would believe I that. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, I have heard good things. I would like to see Trolls. I had no idea. Seen, and, and I have never been a Troll fan. No, I had no intention to see this. I was actually semi-sad like, or bored. Stupid. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I was expecting it to be have a terrible time, but it wasn't the case. Um, but then I found out uh, the cast that was in it, mm-hmm. and then not Buddy Hackett. <laughs> not Cedric the Entertainer. Great song. They, use a lot of, they do a lot of stuff for adults. Yeah. A lot of stuff. But it's kid friendly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But a lot of like adult jokes. Right. But not like Sausage Party. No, no, no. Yeah. But there's stuff like, uh, ah, that's some sarcasm, see? And the, the goofy character pops up the screen looking at the camera. I think I had a sarcasm once. But <laughs> all the adults laugh and the kids are like, what's so funny? Take my wife, please. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sing Lionel Richie songs. Stuff oh, like that. Oh, which Lionel Richie song? Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's great. Does Justin Timberlake sing that? He's got to sing in the movie. I'm not going to ruin it for you. I won't spoil what? it. What? I won't, I won't. How is that spoiling he anything? Sings, he sings one song. His character th- throughout the whole movie, an hour or an hour or so, mm-hmm. hates uh, hates singing because bad things happened when he sang before. Mm-hmm. So he's sworn off singing. All trolls love singing, dancing, and, hu- and hugging. That's yeah. the troll way. But he hates all three of those, and he's very grumpy. He says, bad things happen. When I used to sing, I had yeah. to hang out with Joey Fatone all the time. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but the moment he does sing is the uh, the good moment. It's True Colors, and it's fantastic. No, it it's is. Not. I promise you. <laughs> Justin Timberlake sings True Colors, and it's amazing. The best rendition you've ever heard in your life. No, I prom- No, I'm telling you. No, it I'm cannot be the best okay. rendition. Okay, because that is owned by Cindy Lauper. <laughs> no, this JT version of True Colors blows that out of the water. I know. Her, it kills it. Her her remastering of it uh, in the mid '90s, the, the 1987 yeah. or 92 remaster, the, of the, it? the 96, I believe, <laughs> version of. It. No, check it out. Really. Good movie, Trolls is. Go see Trolls. Adam says go see Trolls. Really? I did not expect to get thumbs up. What about the, uh, the Disney Rock movie? Which one is that? The one that's oh, out Oh, yeah. Now. That looks interesting. Mm-hmm. I yeah. hear good things about that, too. I had no idea that existed until I saw a trailer for it before Trolls. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I had no idea that was a thing. I think we've talked about it on the really? show. Really? Oops. You don't listen. <laughs> uh, I want to see Fantastic Beasts and where oh, to yeah. find them as I'll, well. I almost thought you said four. Fantastic Four. No you still haven't seen that, have you? I know. I have not. You, The Josh Trank Fantastic Four. You should, four. really should do that. It is not good, but you, I mean, you know. 
you like to even collect and own all these comic book movies on, on DVD and Blu-ray. I am way behind. Yeah? I'm way behind. But you at least owe it yourself. You can buy that one for five bucks right now, I'm sure. I think probably a Black Friday I'm going to stock up because I see a lot of those are on sale. You should, yeah. Yeah, even Captain America Civil War is going to be like 10 bucks. Right. On Blu-ray. Wow. On Blu-ray. Really? It's going to be on Netflix Christmas Day. Really? Yeah. Really? Disney and Netflix announced that this wow. week. Wow. That as a Christmas gift to Netflix subscribers, Captain Man. America Civil War will be on Netflix Christmas Day. I won't even be here. That's not good. Well, that's the fun thing about Netflix. You yeah, don't have true. to be that's here true. to watch that's it. That's true. I don't know. Spend Christmas Day watching Giant Man all the time. Where, uh, what part of Hawaii are you going to? Maui. Maui. Yeah. Okay. Why so that? are you doing any hopping around at all? Not the the islands, no. No? No, I just okay. want to explore the Maui. I was just curious if you were going to make it to the Pearl Harbor. No. Oh. No. See, that would be a shame. Yeah. To be that close. I know. To the Pearl Harbor. Yeah. But the hopping is more planes and more. It's a lot of stuff. And I think you can just take a boat for that one. Can you? Well, we'll look into it. Maybe. We'll see how much that is. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's like history. I'm aware. That's world. Like that's what got the U.S. in World War II. I'm, I'm aware. We were standing back. We are like, oh, Hitler will stop eventually. Yeah. yeah. And then, bam, Pearl Harbor. And, oh, now we're pissed. Oh, hell. Yeah. Hey, speaking of that, I'm watching The Crown as well on Netflix. Oh, how's that? It's all right. The first few episodes are slow, but when she gets the actual crown, it's good. Yeah. Have you seen what it's about or what? It's just the story of Queen Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when she actually gets to the crown. It's the whole, I've done so much research on the royal family in the past seven days. It's not what I expected. It's very crazy. Oh, they are crazy. I mean, the whole thing is very, so many rules I've never known about. Lots of inbreeding. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Oh, there, yeah. there is lots of inbreeding. She, I believe her, her father and mother were second cousins. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, so her dad... Was, uh, wasn't going to be king at all. He was actually second born, and his brother, the older brother, which was in line to be king, was king for less than a year, and he decides to marry a once-divorced woman. Mm-hmm. Because of that, it's it's uh, dishonorable. And Scandal. Can't, can't be in royalty. Scandalous. So he chooses still to marry that woman and loses his throne and goes to his little brother, which shouldn't have been in the line at all. So then he becomes king, and because of that, we have this whole thing here now. Yeah. We have Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles and Harry and, and all that. I saw an interview with Lady Diana, mm-hmm. or Princess Diana, uh, earlier this week, well, obviously the interview was several years old, <laughs> but I saw it earlier this week, and the interviewer asked Princess Diana, do you believe you'll ever be queen? Her answer was no. Really? Mm-hmm. She said, I don't believe I'll ever be queen. Yeah. And her reasoning, mm-hmm. I can't believe she said this in the interview, basically she said, the royal family doesn't like me. Really? So I'll, they'll find a way for me to never be queen. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Then there's conspiracy theories that, you know, they had her killed. Really? Yeah. That's messed up. Speaking of conspiracy theories. Well, at theories, that point, she was she was safe. They already divorced. Well, why would they do that? Uh, because- She was no threat at that point. At that point, her popularity had never been greater. Wait, now though. I'm curious, because Charles has already been divorced. How is that honorable to be divorced, And but you can't marry a divorced person? Well, it's a different time. I guess so. You don't it's think that exists time. anymore? Wow. Yeah. Weird. So, But from what I read, I believe he's either the, the longest or second longest- in line. He's been waiting to be king for... He may never be king. Yeah. He may die before his mom. He may die before his mom. Because yeah. he's, what, 60-something now? Yeah. Yeah. He's, it's been, he's been waiting for that long. And she's a 90. She's 90 now, yeah. 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 And yeah. he was below the age of 10, so he's been waiting you know, over 50 years now to be king. No one's ever waited that long. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Not even Simba. Yeah. I mean, she was 20, I believe 26 when she got the crown. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, in his 60s. Yeah. <laughs> He may not make it. That's crazy. So who does it go to if he dies? It'll be his firstborn son. His, so uh, that's William. William. Yeah. Well, look at you yeah. with your royal family. A, yeah. And yeah. Quiz. And that's why with their firstborn son, Williams and uh, and Kate Middleton's. That's why their firstborn son was such a big deal. And their house is called Windsor. Oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. You like, you like that? <laughs> I told you, major research. I'm impressed. If they gave me shows like this back in high school, I could be a genius. Buckingham Palace's address is... I don't know that one, actually. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was thinking 10 Downing Street, but that's yeah. that's where the prime minister lives. Yeah. yeah. I just feel really... And Winston Churchill is uh, played by... I've forgotten his name. Third Rock from the Sun. Hit me. Harry and the Hendersons. Hit me. Oh, uh, John John Lithgow? Yeah. As he's Winston Churchill. Fan- oh, wow. Fantastic job, too. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if it's very realistic, but he's a big dick. <laughs> he is. He's a jerk. I'm not sure if that's the way he actually was. He wasn't Harry and the Hendersons. That's true. That's true. No, he wasn't. He was, eh. Yeah. The whole family wanted him except for Mr. Henderson. Yeah. But he, he won him over. Harry won him over. Eventually, yeah. But above the whole With royal, his toothy grin. The whole royal family, I feel the worst for uh, Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth's husband. Why? 
it just you feel bad for him. Let's live this normal life. Look, I don't think you should feel bad for any of these people. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like for him, it kind of the the show. You should watch The Crown. It kind of talks about that and shows that they have this normal, happy life. They have two kids, husband and wife, traveling the world. Things are going great. And then uh, her father dies, and she becomes queen. Uh huh. And once again, I didn't know. But until, he doesn't become king. No, he's a prince, Prince yeah. Philip. Mm-hmm. And so at that point, every time. Uh, you know, he whenever she first walks out, the first time is queen. He wants to escort her out, but l- the laws and rules say the queen is always first. So she goes out first, and he's behind her with his head down to the ground mm-hmm. every time. He's got to walk behind her everywhere they go. It would have been like if Hillary Clinton had won. Yeah, ex- <laughs> exactly. Pretty much, yeah. Bill Clinton would have just been in the background. Yeah. Looking sad. Yeah. Sad Bill Clinton. But it's always got to be like he's she's always first, and he's always just behind. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, until... Man, maybe until the show started or, or not long ago at all. I had no idea what his name was or who he was. <laughs> Prince Philip, I had no idea. Prince Philip of? He's had a lot of titles. He was something before and now. Prince Philip of Monaco? No. I believe of Wales? I think of Wales because that was like, oh, right. just like, uh, just like. Like the Duchess of Wales. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Check out because the, the uh, show doesn't show too much about that and you kind of have to do your own research. It's kind of Game of Thronesy. <laughs> you know, you can watch Game of Thrones and have no idea what's going on. You right. go and, and look up the stories and the family trees, and then it's like, oh, it makes so much sense. This is my version of Game of Thrones. Now I get it. Yeah. Such debauchery, too. And every single person in there is just like dying of bad things, but they're all smoking like freight trains mm-hmm. <laughs> at all times. It's crazy. This is Trolls the movie, right? <laughs> yes. That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but check out Trolls and The Crown. Do it. That Timberlake troll. <laughs> if I were only going to see one, which should it be? Trolls. Okay. Yeah. Not Crown. No. On Netflix. No. Um, There was something I was going to mention about all that, and I can't remember. The Facebook posts. We're going to save that until after Gamers Corner. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. So, uh, because I'm very excited about one of the games you're going to talk about in Gamers Corner. As you should be. Watch Dogs 2. (laughs) You think so? Nashville made it big time. It did. Nashville is finally big time. Nationwide. Worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. Nashville is the pit bull of gaming. (laughs) I like pit bull. (laughs) (laughs) We'll do Gamer's Corner. Next. We are the Metal Geeks Podcast, and on this show, we have heavy metal, comic books, video games, movies, theme parks, and more. Wait, wait, wait. Comics? Yep. And movies? Exactly. Video games? Yeah. Metal? Of course. How does theme parks fit in this? It just does. All of us Metal Geeks can be found at MetalGeeks.net. At Metal Geeks for Twitter. Metal Geeks on Instagram. And Metal Geeks on the Facey Space. You can also find us on iTunes. Subscribe today. Metal Geeks. Grab your joystick. This game is an atrocity. It's time for Gamer's Corner. I think it'll make a person become insane. Gamer's Corner brought to you by Outer Limits Comics, the official comic shop of the Adam and JP Show in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, so if you're in our general area, you can actually visit the comic shop. If you're not, find them on social media at Outer Limits TN. Hey, look, there's Adam. Hey, look. Sporting the Tennessee Titans. Yeah. I'm not ashamed hoodie. anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're 500. We're over halfway. <laughs> we cannot get above 500. <laughs> Yeah. I think we have a chance, though. You know, the year we went to the Super Bowl, I believe we were 8-8 eight and eight and squeezed in with a wild card playoff. Mm-hmm. I believe that's what happened. Well, in the AFC South right now, yeah. you get seven wins. Right. You're you, good. You're shooing. You might be in the playoffs. <laughs> uh, you might make it to the first round. That's true, yeah. Not uh, past that. We do just have three big new releases to talk about. Many things came out, but I have a lot more to talk about later on in gaming news, a.k.a. the Black Friday extravaganza oh. for gaming. Boy, I'm going to hand you that because I think you're going to be playing something. You think so? Uh, So we do have three games to talk about. Uh, The first one is We Sing for the Xbox One and the PS4. Think of this as karaoke revolution, but you use your cell phone to sing and to (laughs) to actually read the lyrics on the screen. Oh, that got the crack? That got the crack. Really? Yeah. That's dumb. (laughs) Next. Uh, Next up, you know, we all love um, love some VR, some virtual reality. Why not love on NBA 2K VR for the PS4 VR? I'm sorry, what was that? NBA 2K VR on the PS4 VR. Oh, okay. Imagine telling your grandparents you want that for Christmas. Hey, Granny, can I have the NBA 2K VR for the PS4 VR? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Put it on your list, ask Santa. Uh, Granny, I'm 19. <laughs> 
last but not least, I said we had three new releases to mm-hmm. talk about. Um, this one comes out on the PC and Linux only. Wow. That's specific. Yeah. You don't uh, do a lot of Linux gaming. Not too much, and no. And new releases. Not, not too much at all. Um, this one is straight from Japan. Oh, really? And, we, you know, there's a lot of Japanese and, and anime or manga-style games that come out on PC and Steam each week. But this one is special because this one is called Love, Guitars, and the Nashville Skyline. <laughs> Uh, if you know anything about this, this is the trailer, we're right? The trailer may not be the best for audio. But this is a roughly Japanese theme song, I guess, for it. Um, as we're seeing, we're, show, we're seeing the actual skyline of Nashville itself, the skyscrapers, uh, the streets, the cities, which kind of look nothing like the streets or the landscapes of There's Nashville. There's no Winchester in Nashville. <laughs> no. There's a Manchester. No, you and I did a lot of research, I would say, before before doing the show. Don't you drag me into this. <laughs> you did a lot of research. Uh, I'm going to use this in my own words, but love guitars and the Nashville skyline. It's about two females from across the country. Um, I guess of the United States. It seems like one's from California. One is from New York, I believe. That's what you said. And they both lose their jobs lose and leave school and chase their dreams and follow their hearts to the beautiful, beautiful music city, USA, of Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, they start a, a lesbian relationship and travel the road and, and just travel around Nashville and love guitars in the Nashville skyline as they meet and bond over the beauty that is country music. They get in some rambunctious adventures. They do. And if you could only see the images and the videos we've seen... Just do an image search. I mean, it's not its not bad. It's all animated, so it's not bad. But love, guitars, and the Nashville skyline. Where can I find this game? On Steam. Only. For $9.99. Yeah, $9.99 for the edited version. The adult content is $14.99. <laughs> these lyrics. Are these the characters singing? I think so. I struggle and smile with broken heart for someday meet you with best smile. I love Pitbull. And so you, they're giving the, the <laughs> there's a timeline of all the uh, LGBT rights and certain things that happen, and you you have a theory behind this of why they chose Nashville. Uh, because they they prominently feature the uh, uh, contemporary Christian, uh-huh. like it says when it was founded in right. Nashville or whatever, whatever right. that that organization is called. Yeah. So I'm guessing they target Nashville for that reason. Interesting. Because Nashville is the hub of. Contemporary Christian Interesting. music. But yeah, just go on YouTube, look up Love Guitars and the Nashville Skyline trailer, and you'll see what we just saw, um, clips of Nashville. But the only there. thing that even remotely is, they, there is one shot that you showed me that is clearly an animated version of the Nashville Skyline. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, That's it. The, I'm, I'm seeing one now, looks like from the, Mesa, Arizona. There's no deserts to drive through in no, Nashville. No, You can't go... <laughs> They're yeah. showing cornfields, which may happen on the outskirts of Nashville. That's more of Kansas. Yeah, we have some here, but not I like mean, that. There's maybe one road where you may pass a cornfield yeah. on one side of the road, right. and then maybe a cornfield on the other. Right. There's not miles and miles of cornfield roads. Right, yeah. Roads. Yeah. That Crazy. I'm aware of. But yeah, love, guitars, I've, and the Nashville skyline. I've driven around this state a lot. You have, it's true. Mm-hmm. They uh, have signs in the interstate here for Culpeper, Fredericksburg, Warrenton, Luray, or Winchester. That's what I mean. There's no, no Winchester. <laughs> you know, let's go sing at the bar in Winchester. Yeah, no, not so much. Um, that's all we have for gaming new releases, though. Wasn't well, Winchester the bar in uh, uh, um, Shaun, Shaun of the, the Dead? Dead? Yeah. They're trying to make it to the Winchester? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I love that movie. We have some gaming news, though. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about my love for Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> it's all good. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> put your hands together for gaming news. Going out. <laughs> Uh, not so much gaming news, but we do have some Black Friday deal extravaganza. That was my Jim Henson version. Uh, I like that. Yeah. It was good. Thanks. Uh, the NES Classic. Have you gotten one of those yet? No, I tried to get one. I was, uh, I was meandering, like uh, loitering uh-huh. around the video game section yeah. of Target. Did you see anything Opening good? Opening just uh, like I would look up and the stock boy would just be bringing like a pallet full <laughs> Here you of go. NES Classics. Yeah. Here you go, young man. <laughs> you whippersnapper Thanks. take this. I'm older than your dad. <laughs> 
Uh, I myself as well uh, on the hunt for the NES Classic. I need one. I, I'm full aware I won't have one before Christmas. So Don't, now I want one just to have one. Before they're, they're, I was going to sell it, but now it's just good. They're going for ridiculous prices. Yeah. And, and look. I say when we wrap up the show tonight, we should do a up to up to the minute. Oh, eBay. like we did last week? Yeah. We can do that. We can close Kinda out see with that. see the, the rise and fall of this NES Classic on eBay. In this room you're in right now, mm. there are two NES consoles. Right, yeah. We could just hook those up and play. I know. I've got some, yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah. you know, but it would be fun to have. Because yeah. I know this, because the thing about the old NES. The big sell for me is the HDMI. I mean, exactly. For once, you can plug it up to high definition and Exa- it looks nice. That's exactly what I was about uh-huh. to say. Because yeah. you, you plug those things up and they look like crap. Right, yeah. Just a thought. It looks like love guitars in Nashville. <laughs> It's the skyline. <laughs> but back to that for a little bit. You were we were shocked when we saw some of the images, right? I was yes. <laughs> you shocked me. <laughs> hey, look at this. Uh, oh. I didn't mean I was looking at new releases and it came up. Uh-huh. You know how I do this. Yeah. Black Friday deals. It's happening. It's today. It's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Friday. You've had your turkey. It's time to buy some games. Go ahead and get some games. Go get some games. I've scoured the internet. The same guys that go out and give me those Adam's ghosts have brought me the best deals around. So these may not be very reliable. <laughs> and so I'm going to go through some of the best bundles for consoles, where to buy those, how much they'll be. Then we'll go through some cheap games and where to buy those Adam, and how much they'll be. Adam, let me ask you a question. Yeah? Am I correct that you could probably find an Xbox One and a PS4? Yeah. For less than $300 this that is weekend? That is very correct. I'm going to blow your mind for a bit. You ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. If you want a PS4, dun. the best place to buy this is if you go to Kohl's, my friend. Ready? Mm-hmm. You go to Kohl's, you're going to walk in there, look all around. You're going to buy the Uncharted 4 PS4 Slim bundle, right? Mm-hmm. Comes with the PS4 controller and the Uncharted 4 game, only $250. But wait, there's more. With this purchase, you get a $75 Kohl's gift card. Oh, wow. So you're really paying $175 for the console in the game. <laughs> How about this? You want a brand new Xbox One S this Christmas? I don't know. It's the brand new one, you know. Mm, I love my PS4. The Xbox One S. You can go to Dell.com on Black Friday. Oddly enough, this is the best deal for an Xbox One S. It's the Battlefield 1 bundle. People love this game. came out two to three weeks ago. It's fantastic. It's huge. <laughs> Dell.com has the Xbox One S bundle with Battlefield 1, an extra controller, and Gears of War 4. For and we're t- throwing in Gears of War 4. For $250. You like violence in your video games? <laughs> How about Gears of War 4? How crazy is that? That is, I will admit, having yeah. a PS4, I mm-hmm. miss that um, I can't play the new Gears of War. Yeah, I know, so we all we give and take here. Mm-hmm. Those are great deals, though, right? But I do have the better system. Great. Uh, nah, I do. They're great deals, though. Two fifty for each. I do. <laughs> great deals. Uh, also, anywhere, most retailers have the brand new Nintendo 3DS. Nintendo. For $99, mm-hmm. you can have a 3DS. The most modern handheld they have. The biggest thing going today until the, Is uh, the like Switch comes out. Is that like a big old Game Boy? <laughs> it could be. Okay. Someone consider that so. Uh, on to the games now. I told you Battlefield 1 is huge. People love it. Yeah. Bigger than Gina. Uh-huh. Um, you can buy Battlefield 1, the best deal on Black Friday right now. Go buy it right now at Walmart for $27. Oh, it's not there. What a deal. It depends on when you listen to this. What a, If you did it right mm, in, the, in the early, like we said. Maybe you're camping out yeah. at Walmart. If you were lucky enough to listen to this in the uh, the, the black depths of the early morning, mm-hmm. you can buy that. Also, Titanfall 2 came out just two weeks ago. Also, $27 at Walmart. The game that was supposed to last 10 years? No, it's Destiny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How about Doom? Remember Doom made a comeback this year? Um, yes, I do. $20 at GameStop. 20 That just blows my mind. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Don't bring an even Gwen Stefani joke in here. Come on. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. It's huge. It's big. Everyone loves it. And at Best Buy right now. You can buy it for $25. I love Skyrim. You, do you love Skyrim? Mm-hmm. I know a game you love as well. Yes. Fallout Mother 4. <laughs> That's what you love. I, love to, I do love that game. $15 at Target today. What? $15. No. Yeah, right now at Target, $15 Fallout 4. That's just the case, right? No, it's not. It's not a GameStop dumpster. <laughs> uh, I know you're also a big wrestling fan, and I apologize for doing this. I know some people don't like to hear lists of video games, and that's fine. 
But this is a list for deals. Who doesn't like to hear lists? This is a list of deals. It doesn't matter. What is life other than just a list? That is true. It's my a life list is of one things list. that you go through. Yeah. If you don't like Adam's list, <laughs> I got two words for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could suck it. Yeah, Fallout 4. Uh, WWE 2K17. Uh, you're not going to bore me with another list, are you, Adam? <laughs> $27 at Walmart. Uh, are you going to bore me with a <laughs> list? can be yours. The game, I never played too much. Maybe, I think you said you did a little bit. Star Wars Battlefront, the deluxe edition. That the, is a fun game. With the DLC included. At GameStop is $10. No. $10. That blows my mind. Ultimate deluxe <laughs> edition. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> not the newest version because that just came out, but the Pokemon games always hold their value, and so Pokemon X and Y on the 3DS only twenty five dollars a target, half price. Bam! Right. Pokemon Go is free. That is true, mm. and not as fun anymore. Anyways, <laughs> uh, last but not least, this one burns my biscuits. <laughs> my biscuits are burning. <laughs> this one burns my biscuits. Uh, at Walmart today on Black Friday, Amiibos. Including the very hard to find eight bit Mario's, which I've spent some money on and received as gifts and held on for my dear life. All amiibos, five dollars. Walmart. What? That's all half of the Black Friday deal extravaganzas in Gamers Corner. That just blows my mind. Five dollar amiibos, man. Five dollar. Five dollar amiibos. Some of these were selling for triple digits. Eighteen months ago. Somebody was telling you that was uh there was a bubble yeah. on the Amiibo market. Oh, the Beanie Babies, man. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, is it like a roller coaster, or is it just a bubble that bursts? I don't know. Uh, the Beanie Babies are going to have their heyday again? I just think that whole thing is over. Like, yeah. it's the, what was it, the... Um, like the Lego Dimensions, the Skylanders, the Skylanders, Dis- Disney Infinities. Was, yeah. Disney Infinities. Like, you go to any of these stores that sell those things, yeah. those aisles are packed out. That's sad. Like, they don't even move one. What happened? Like, uh, there was, Nintendo had a display, like, basically begging you to buy Amiibos. Please buy these amiibos. Please, but now five dollars. Even the eight bit Mario's. I know. I remember when you bought that one amiibo for like thirty dollars. Which one? I, yeah, I've done a few like that. Which one? <laughs> At the convention. Oh yeah, the Silver Mario. Uh huh. Yeah, Silver Mario. It was thirty bucks. Yeah. Five dollars. <laughs> What's the depreciation on that? In a year and a half. We don't talk about it. <laughs> but admittedly, those are some great deals, right? Those are fantastic. Deals. I mean, I've got. Uh, I've got some stuff picked out I want to do. I love yeah. Black Friday. Right, it's great. Like I like I like Just getting out there. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the problem. I don't yeah. think I've ever bought a gift for anyone on Black Friday. <laughs> now my wife has. Yeah, yeah. Just not she, you. Just not me. Mm-hmm. Uh I always go and try to buy like cheap DVDs. Right. Because Walmart has this the last few years when they put their uh their DVDs or or even Blu-rays out, they have almost like collector tins that they mm. put them out in. Yeah. That are fun. Really? They've got like they're like pop art tins. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. I mm-hmm. have seen those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to brave the crowds Friday night. Is that bad? Black There's Friday? Nothing's left. I, I'm not going for that. I'm going to do other stuff. I have to get I have to get fitted for my tux for my wedding. <laughs> you know, here's a funny story. Adam, I've been fitted for the tux for your wedding. Funny story about that. You were the only person who's been fitted for that tux. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I, totally, I get emails every few days. Really? Yeah, with your name, the only person on that list who's gotten fitted so it's far. It's getting close. Yeah, we're about It's to, just going to be me and you up there. We're, uh, we're three weeks out. <laughs> it's getting real close. <laughs> this is one of the last shows of the year. It is, isn't it? Let's see if we can do the math here. So we'll do this show uh-huh. on Friday. Right. And then we'll do Tuesday. Yeah. And then next week we'll record Friday. By the way... And the following Tuesday. When you hear next week's Friday show, we'll be uh, doing crazy things. We'll be shuffling up and dealing. <laughs> yeah, right. We will. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that happens. And so how then, many shows do we have left this year? We have a few, like two or three weeks left. So five or six shows. Okay. Yeah. Less than six, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're getting close. Right. Then we'll take a, take a little break. Yeah. We'll come back, rebranded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As we do. Start all over at number one. Yeah. The show. <laughs> We should just for fun rebrand. Bring it back. To the show. I'm going to come up with a new name of the show, no, the JP and Adam Show. That's it. That'll be you swap it around. <laughs> just, it'll be really bad. Just mirrored, <laughs> mirrored, uh, mirrored Buckethead and Hulk hands. It'll be upside down. <laughs> it's the JP and Adam <laughs> Show. <laughs> uh, okay, we're getting close to the end here. Yeah. Um, we give you a choice. We we need to do this. What's that? We made fun of Alex Jones last year. Right, yeah. Or last year, last week. Went last year, too. And last year. Yeah. And probably year before that. I've, I've made a living making fun of Alan, <laughs> Alex Jones. And Alan Jones. 
Uh, and Alex Ross. No, oh, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't. Uh, and Bob Ross. And Bob Hoskins. You want to keep going? And Dennis Haskins from Saved by the Bell. Mr. Belding. And Mr. Belvedere. And Dennis the Menace. And Dennis the Menace. And Dennis Hopper. And Toby and Menace of Society. And Toby Hooper. While drinking your juice in the And Toby McGuire. And Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> this has gone for days. If you want to see... Did I talk about this last week? Mm-hmm. If I started talking about it, stop me. One of the most awkward things I've seen on the internet... No, I told you about this after the show. After week. Love Guitars and Nashville Skyline? Yeah, it's more awkward than that. <laughs> you can go. They release these... Because uh, you know on the Disney Channel... Uh, they've been doing these promos for uh, years. Yes. Where the Disney stars say, hey, think, I'm blah, blah, blah. Off air, we talked about this, and I finally saw it. And yeah. yeah, how awkward it is it? pretty great. It's uh, uh, Hillary Duff. Uh-huh. Doing, Which Raven's, to me, was the hardest one to watch. Yeah, Raven was uh, was pretty hard. <laughs> Raven Simone. And so, you know, and it's like, hey, I'm Hillary Duff from Lizzie McGuire, and you're watching the Disney Channel. Yeah. And then they have a wand, and when you see the promos, they yeah. draw out the Mickey ears. Mm. None of those girls obviously know <laughs> what the Mickey ears look like, right? Because they're just like like making circles, but then they edit it in such a way uh-huh. that when you finally see the Mickey ears, they they're just finishing yeah. it with like one swoop. My favorite though was Beans from Even Stevens. You remember Beans? Uh huh. He was my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> those are awkward because you know they they shoot those promos like one right after the other, yeah, right yeah. after the other, and they do multiple takes. Uh-huh. Every single one of them hated doing it. <laughs> it's true, but I think I think Ravens is the hardest to watch. Because she clearly doesn't want to be there. Right. But Hillary Duff's is just the most awkward because you can hear every sound mm-hmm. the inside of her mouth makes while she's doing that yeah. thing. It's like, I'm Hillary Duff. Right. And just like all that smacking and cracking. <laughs> oh, smacking and cracking with Hillary Duff. <laughs> the next version of the Disney Channel. <laughs> this week on Disney. <laughs> Hillary Duff is smacking and cracking. <laughs> But about Alex Jones. So we made fun of Alex Jones mm-hmm. last week. Uh, apparently, uh, we struck a chord. It happens, you know. Uh, I re- we received a post on our Facebook page. Right. I understand, and basically this was the gist of the post. I understand making fun of Alex Jones. He's an idiot. But you can't deny you can't deny uh-huh. that Hillary Clinton is a Satan worshiper. <laughs> that's what the pretty that's much what the it said. gist of it. Yeah. And so uh, there was some uh, some. Pretty graphic photos that were put on the Facebook page, yeah. and so I did some research. Here's what I came up with. Give it to me. Uh, this all stems from WikiLeaks emails that uh, that were found from the uh, head of the Hillary Clinton campaign. His name is a guy, a guy named John Podesta. Mm. There was an email that John Podesta received from his brother. His brother's name is uh, Tony. Tony Podesta. Tony is friends with this. Uh, uh, performance artist uh, Marina. Oh, she has a Serbian last name that I can't pronounce, mm. but you can find it online. She has been a performance artist for many, many, many years. Um, Lady Gaga has worked with her over right. the last I've few seen those years. Pictures, yeah. uh, Jay Z has worked with her. Um, who else? There's other like known recording artists and and and, and other artists that have worked with her. Mm. She's written and she is. You know, as some artists are, she's on the edge. A little eccentric, a little, a little out there. Very eccentric, mm-hmm. on the edge, art not for everybody. Her art, she did uh, release a book uh, where she talked about, uh, it was the phrase I'm looking for, spirit cooking. Right, right. And uh, she does have recipes that do include uh, human bodily fluids in the recipe. So she she is out there, but she's a performance artist. So now some of these YouTube videos, and so she is friends with Tony Podesta, I guess, who is John Podesta's brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony Podesta has been a fan of her since the mid '90s, and donated to a Kickstarter campaign that she had for one of her projects. As a thank you to her Kickstarter uh, donators, she had a dinner and invited Tony Podesta. And in the email said, "Hey, if your brother John can come, that would be great too." Tony. Forwards the email to John, who never responds to it. Never responds to it. Didn't go to any, you know, dinner with this performance artist. Now, these WikiLeak emails that are very innocent, I would say, on, uh, you know, there, there's no there's no link. There's not even a link to Hillary Clinton in this thing. Right, right. In, in this whole email WikiLeak chain. And... um So, uh, 
these emails come out in the WikiLeaks, and then people start finding videos of this performance artist, which are pretty grotesque. I mean, I'll be the first one to admit. I'm like, yeah, I would not be into that at all. Right, yeah. That's not my cup of tea. That's that's not my cup of pee. <laughs> if you read her <laughs> her spirit cooking book <laughs> recipes, ain't my cup of pee. <laughs> uh, I would not be into that at all. Uh-huh. But I think to make the leap that this makes Hillary Clinton a Satan worshiper and she's part of some sort of Satan worshiping cult, that's a, that's a that's a big 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 jump to make. I can't I could not find anything from a legitimate news source. Now, you, know, you can go to Info Wars yeah, yeah. all day long. I'm sure Breitbart has it up there somewhere. I'm sure, yeah, you can find these alt-right websites <laughs> that, you, you can find all that. If you're looking for it, you can find it. Mm. But if you actually try to get down to the facts and see what actually was in these emails, you cannot find any sort of, like, satanic, occult, Hillary Clinton connection. Yeah. There's not one. I can't believe I'm on a podcast and I'm having to say, <laughs> I don't believe Hillary Clinton to be a Satan worshiper. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Doesn't seem like Satan works through to me. Right. Uh, but this is, goes back to the 90s. There's been stuff since the 90s that uh, the Clintons were part of some sort of satanic cult. Um, this is just, it's like, dude, I swear, we are reliving the late 80s and early 90s all over again. Why do you think that? The, the satanic panic. Uh-huh. You remember the satanic yeah. panic where, you know, Ozzy Osbourne's trying to steal your soul through his music. Right. Do you know, like through all of that, when you actually get down and try to find... You can't find one murder that's been attributed to an actual satanic cult. Now, there's tons that they speculated they were right, yeah. during that whole satanic panic, like the West Memphis uh, 5? 6, 5, 3? West Memphis 6, is that what it was? Three. Been, it might have been 3. It yeah. Might have been three. it was three kids. Uh-huh. Like That was all supposed to be, they were Satan worshipers, and you can find all these crimes that were supposedly you know, from uh, performed by satanic cults. Mm-hmm. You you can't find where one actually happened. Now that's not to say crazy people don't do crazy things and say I'm doing this and that. I mean that happens. But to see that there's actually some sort of huge satanic cult that are committing murders in the name of Satan, mm-hmm. you can't find it. I'm watching videos of this performance artist now too. It's just it's like a circus act. It, that's all it is. It's, yeah. yeah, she's a performance artist. Uh-huh. So, um, but when that came on, I was like, because I'm I'm not gonna. I'm never going to say to anything anybody ever tells me unless it's, you know, overtly racist or sexist or I'll never say you're crazy. Get out of here. I'll listen to anything. I'll listen to any conspiracy, conspiracy theory, any of that. I'm going to research it Mm -hmm. and find out for myself. And I think if you do the due diligence of really vetting this Hillary Clinton, Satan worshiper story. Yeah. You'll come to the same conclusion. I do. (laughs) That it's 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 uh it's a pretty big now yes through his brother John Podesta is tied in an email that he didn't even respond to to this uh, performance artist mm-hmm. that has a certain I don't know what but I'm not interested in it yeah but uh but that's okay you know not all art is for everyone do you think with that being said honestly this is kind of a a laugh and a joke at first but honestly centuries in the future I'm not saying we should or should not either way. Do you think we'll ever have a uh, satanic or Satanist president? No. I mean, you don't think so? Is that just too much out there? No, because the Church of Satan is a lark to begin with. Do you think we'll ever have a Scientologist uh, president? Hmm. Now. <laughs> yeah. I uh, mean, I, I mean, to this point, I may be wrong. Have we had a Jewish so president funny yet? Have we had a Jewish president yet? That you, no. No, well, we that, you think that'll happen soon? Well, it was a big deal, you know, when Kennedy was elected and he was a Catholic. Exactly, yeah. That was a huge deal. And I believe, that was scandalous. I believe that's why Romney never got as far as he needed to because of his religion. As messed you think up so? as that. I think so. I think people look too much into that. That's funny. You said the Church of Scientology, uh-huh. and like, I, I hesitate to say my true feelings. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you want to start looking at groups that could be controlling things, uh-huh. I would start with the Church of Scientology. Yeah. Because um, I, I see it as it sounds terrible, but I wouldn't care. That ah, sounds bad. I shouldn't. Are you about to say I wouldn't care if a Satan worshiper was president? Yeah, because I'm, we have we've had Christians for centuries now, and that's they're not forcing Christianity upon the whole country. If, 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 if at the very least, not at all. You know what I mean? There there are very many non Christians. Not the whole country isn't Christian themed. You know, it's not Jesus Christ Highway. <laughs> it's I mean, I think the the religion of the leader has it should and, and continue to be that way. You have no effect on what the people believe in. That's my personal opinion. 
yeah, no? that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you don't think so? Because Just because of that. I mean, like I said, I mean, well, the Church Romney of Satan, being a Mormon, I think that was against him. When you look at the ridiculousness of the Church of Satan, oh yeah, Satan, I'm not saying it's not ridiculous. It's not. It's not even really like when you think about the Mormons or Christianity or Judaism mm-hmm. or, or the you know, Muslims. I mean, there's this long storied history to these religions, mm-hmm. and you see, like you're talking about thousands and thousands of years of followers. The, the the Church of Satan was thought up as a lark to get girls. Yeah, yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. And so I don't put any credence in the Church of Satan to but, begin with. But it's, just, you, it's just ridiculous to say. So what you were going to say about the Scientology stuff. Do you think we'll ever have a – don't say if you like it or not. Do you think in the next 100 years will we ever have a Scientology president? What I was going to say is I don't – Scientologist president. I don't think they want – Scientology under the microscope that much. You don't think so? Mm-mm. No. Because hmm. that is, uh, I do, I do, uh, I do have some questions about the Church of Scientology. Uh-huh. But once again, not really a long, storied history. But regardless of what you believe about any of these world religions that have been around for thousands of years, mm-hmm. there is thousands of years of history there. Right. Anything that has, you know, less than sixty years of history, yeah, yeah. as a religion, right? Yeah. I do think that hurt Bernie as well, being a, a Jewish man. I don't think so. Are you don't we, think so? I don't, are we past that? Uh, you would think so, but I'm like I, said, I think it's not just Judaism, but I mean, like I said, Romney, I believe that hurt him being a Mormon. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I think in the big picture. It did get brought up. It yeah. got brought up yeah. a lot in mainstream coverage mm-hmm. of Mitt Romney. Yeah. Did you ever see the documentary, Mitt? No, I need to. Yeah. Like, that's the Mitt Romney that should have ran for president. Really? If you'd seen that side of Mitt Romney, it would have been... It would have been very close. Really? It would have been very close. Because I didn't know too much about the guy, honestly. Yeah, I, I think his handlers just presented him to the world in an awkward, clunky way. Yeah, because to me, he was just standard politician B. Right. <laughs> That's what and he was. Th- when you see that documentary Mitt, you you get a better sense of who that man actually is. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so what comes first besides a Christian president, if you want to call Trump a Christian? <laughs> What's next? We have a... Uh, has he described his faith at all? And once again, not that it matters. I don't care what... Faith the president has. Oh, but don't you remember? Is Trump proclaimed a Christian? Well, it's the, the greatest book ever written. Oh, okay. Well, the second greatest. Oh, next to The Art of the Deal. Next to The Art of the Deal. Yeah. <laughs> so post-Trump Christian, Christianity, do we have a Jewish president, a, a Mormon president, a Scientologist, a, uh, what do you think? A, a Hindu, a, a Muslim? I mean, you know, when you look at uh, the, when you look at like senators and, uh-huh. and representatives and even you go down to state levels. Yeah. You, you see a myriad of religions represented. We even brought up atheists. There's no atheist president yet. There's atheist in government, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, there's uh, in state, on the state level. Right. I don't believe there's an atheist member of Congress unless it's... Um, it's so odd. Do they have to proclaim their... I'm about to say, unless it's... Uh, and I'm not going to say that name. And uh, that's a, he's an atheist. Yeah. But do they have to proclaim their religion? I mean, you have no, to as you a, don't a have to. public figure. You public, don't have to. That's so odd to me. No, that, it does, that should it, matter. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm saying about the satanic stuff. I don't, I don't agree with it, of course. But I'm saying I wouldn't. I don't know. It's just kind of odd they wouldn't and couldn't run for that. Yeah. And people were are blaming this up because you know, not that it was a true story. Even if it were, so what? Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. The, well, yeah. Well, the allegations that were made, especially yeah. on that Infowars uh-huh. story, that. You know, the Clintons are responsible for a lot of child abuse. Mm-hmm. That would be a big deal. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's not true. Right. As far as I can find, it's not true. No OJ Island? And I spent a lot of time trying to find... No OJ Island? No OJ Island. Wow. I, I spent a long time trying to find actual evidence that this mm-hmm. stuff actually exists. That wasn't some from some wingnut site. <laughs> yeah. And the only place you can find these stories are from wingnut sites. Mm-hmm. You know, you read the... Uh, I Hillary, don't mind truth if it's truth. Hillary Clinton is a Satan worshiper. That's like... And then the story next to it, the clip bait next to it is like... Uh, JFK circled the, the globe in a UFO. You know, yeah. that's, it, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. I mean, and look, I'm no fan of Hillary Clinton. Right. Just like I'm no fan of Donald Trump. And I th- but I don't think she's part of some sort of pedophilia satanic cult. <laughs> am I going out on a limb here? I don't think you are. I don't think I am. But, but we appreciate the uh, interaction. Yes, it's always hey, fun. I mean, you can always talk to us about anything. Yeah, it's always fun. Tell us your problems. Do it. Let me know. Maybe we'll uh, give you some holiday recipes. What kind of deals did you get on games? Well, we'd like to know that. Did you buy a $15 Fallout 4? Crawl out. If you haven't bought Fallout 4 yet. Now's the time. Target, $15. Yeah. 
when we saw our buddy David Brewington from Blame Your Brother podcast, mm-hmm. and we sat there for a good 10 minutes talking about Fallout 4. I hear he's playing it now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, he started playing it after we did. Uh-huh. And so I was like, hey, how about that, uh, how about that first death claw, huh? Uh-huh. Where you got to steal the eggs and they're like <laughs> swapping war stories. Yeah. <laughs> about how we, uh, what, you know, what we chose to do in those certain scenes. Right. So there's this week's poll. Bam. Hillary Clinton, Satan worshiper. <laughs> Yay or nay. On the next. Oh, that's the point I was getting at. In the late 80s and early 90s, you had, you know, the, the, the satanic panic that was all over the, 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 the afternoon talk shows like Geraldo, mm-hmm. and you had the KKK that was all over afternoon talk shows like Geraldo. And, and in 2016, that's all back. Mm-hmm. That is all back. Like, you really thought the KKK were gone. Like, really? That's still a thing? Apparently it is. Yeah. They had a big meeting. Like neo-Nazis. Right. So I saw that on the news this week. Mm-hmm. See, you show me stuff like that. And it goes down like that. <laughs> I can believe that. Right. Because I actually see what's happening. And no yeah. one, you know, this is in, 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 in you know, reputable news outlets. Yeah. Like of course, the argument can be made. Well, any what you call reputable news outlet mm-hmm. is actually part of the conspiracy of the new world order. Right, right, right. It's all back and forth. Yeah, it's part of the... Uh, media industrial complex. I mean, it's kind of a fact. I mean, I'm not going out on a limb here, but it's a, it's a factual <laughs> fact that David Duke, the current leader, or at least once former leader of the- He was K- a grand K- wizard. Yeah. Uh, backs Trump, right? I mean, I'm, I, that's not a wrong statement. No, that's not a wrong statement. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah. And the, there were neo-Nazis that yeah. gathered in Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. in the Reagan room of a hotel. Right. And basically did the old hell Hitler using Trump. I mean, that actually happened. Yeah. Hell, I mean, it was the, I mean, the guy was the leader of the neo-Nazi whatever, whatever. Yeah. He's a Nazi. Nazis are real. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real thing. Not just villains in video games. Has been for 70 years. Uh-huh. Nazis yeah. are real. Uh-huh. So, there you go. Good talk. That was a good talk. Yeah. But again, I mean, we, we enjoyed the feedback on the yeah. Facebook page. Keep it coming. If we touch a nerve, let us know. Yeah. We'll continue to talk about it. <laughs> but we will not let facts get in the way of a good conspiracy yeah, theory. That is true. Uh, check us out online, adamandjp.com. On Twitter and Instagram at adamandjp and on facebook.com slash adamandjp. I'm Jay Patrick. That's Adam. This is the Adam and JP Show. I had to give you This has been a production of the Adam and JP family of On Demand Talk Radio. AdamandJP.com Right now. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network, your station for all things geek, classic, current, and beyond. Be part of the crew at ESONetwork.com.